Today, we are doing the coolest thing on this channel we have ever done. We're going snowboarding on a volcano. So we're not actually snowboarding on the volcano today. Today's a travel day to get to the volcano. We're going to Oregon, gonna shred some pow. Three days, tons of deep snow on a volcano. How epic can you get? Yesterday was a long day, but today is day one. We are at Mount Bachelor. I've been up since five. We didn't, so yesterday we had three flights. We had to fly from Cincinnati to Atlanta, Atlanta to Salt Lake, Salt Lake to Oregon, then drive here. I was up for like 22 hours. We didn't get here till like a little after midnight their time. So it was about three something in the morning for me. I'd been up for 22 hours, went to bed, still woke at five, too stoked, couldn't sleep. Got a little bit of a cold for whatever reason every time we take a snowboard trip i wind up getting a cold like right before we go so i'm a little bit stopped up but we're gonna get up get some coffee get some vitamins get rolling I already chugged down a thing of element had a protein shake been doing some editing on the last colorado video looks like it should be a good day they got like five inches of powder but tomorrow and tuesday should be the best days of riding so today we're going to explore have a light powder day should be epic this condo is amazing i'll definitely have to show you guys this is one of the coolest condos we have ever stayed in and i'm up in a loft got a nice view of oregon early in the morning gonna get up get some breakfast get ready head out to mount bachelor Cool. That's not bad. Future Alex here. So I was actually editing the day one videos and I realized that the only downside, let me show you what I'm talking about, with the Insta360 X3 is where they have the rounded lenses like that. It was like frosting really heavy. There was this like almost like sleet coming down on us at the top. And so that frost was collecting on the lens. And so a lot of the footage, I just, I'm not happy with it because the cameras like this and the angle that I need is where the frost had built up. So I am going to delete a lot of the head cam footage, still plenty of footage from this day, but I did just want to say I did have to, I did have to delete a lot of the first two laps because it just didn't look good and I wasn't happy with it. And I only want to post the best so that you all only see good quality. There's no point in me posting it because you just couldn't really see what I wanted you to see, but I promise don't worry. Day two is going to more than make up for it. I still have plenty of footage from day one. So I hope you enjoy this video, but day two, and potentially day three, gonna be even better. All right, let's get back to the video. Mount Bachelor, absolutely delivering. Some of the best terrain, best trees we've ever ridden. We're dropping in for lap number three. Let's see what we can find. Alright? 
There was like a dip in the middle of that too. It felt like I all of a sudden hit a hole. I was like, I am going to just like clothesline this thing. And I luckily got under it. I grabbed it and swung around it. side. No! We had the same idea. going to take holy smoke Imagine. that was unreal oh go for it <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was trying to hit that. Hit it, hit it, because I can't do it. Just drop. Wait. I mean, you kind of squashed it, but. But at least we get the path. I regret that. This is like surfing. Which way are you go? <laughs> Woo -hoo. You want to try cutting over to the other side or you want to stay Woo! 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 
Holy cow! This is nuts! You alright? This may be the single greatest area of trees we have ever seen.
Oh no! Oh no! I'm following the tracks! We found it! It actually looks pretty decent if you stay that way. I was kind of following those skiers. Whoop. Woo! Are you okay, sir? <laughs> I can't see. Like, I thought the hill was like... So visibility's not great. We're making our way. Gotta take a lunch break. It's crazy because as you get below the cloud, it just slowly gets better. It's starting, I'm starting to be able to see. Yeah, I can see now. Oh yeah. Whee <laughs> you hit the exact same thing I did. No, this again! Same scenario. Oh, no. This side's definitely not as tree filled as the other side. I want to show you guys around our condo here at Mount Bachelor. Huge, huge, huge thank you to John for hooking us up with this condo, helping support the channel, support the dream. I cannot thank you enough for giving us this opportunity. This, it's unreal, absolutely unreal. So let me show you around the condo real quick where we're staying for all of our epic powder days of shredding here at Mount Bachelor. Condo, got my bathroom, my own sink, own toilet, own shower, got a king size bed up here, a nice view outside, beautiful Oregon. All my snowboard gear over here. I got the camera batteries charging. You look down in the loft. Got the living room. Got the gear drying out down there. Go down these stairs. Got this epic, beautiful view, which there's some clouds on the mountains over there, but there is some mountains far out in the distance. Snowboard gear. Drying, getting ready for another day of shredding. Got this super sweet kitchen. Everything you're gonna need. He really went the extra mile. Thank you, thank you, thank you, John, for hosting us. All these cabinets are labeled, so you know where everything is. Easily, like, the most well-equipped, coolest cabin slash condo slash destination we've stayed at. It's absolutely unreal. Let's give a breakdown of the day. One at Mount Bachelor was absolutely unreal. 
hands down. It immediately is going to make the top three favorite resorts that we've ever been to, and it's going to be fighting for the top one. It's like, it felt like the same kind of terrain and stuff I got when I went to Whistler, which Whistler has been my number one resort I've ever been to for a long time standing now. But it's the same type of terrain, but without the crowds. The runs are super long, the terrain is diverse, the snow is great, and it's I, it's so, so good. Um, I don't know, it's early to call it. Might be my new favorite early to call it. It's only day one. We're going to see. We got two more powder days out there. It's just the train is so good. It's one of those that like, I want to shout it to the rooftops, but at the same time, I kind of want to keep it hush hush because it's really good. Really, really good. Tomorrow, it's supposed to snow like four to eight inches during the day, another four to eight at night. So we should have powder all day tomorrow and powder all day Tuesday. Cannot wait to take you guys on another epic day of shredding and see what all we can get into. We pretty much spent the whole day today over running off of the outback lift and i think it's the northwest chairlift the far right side of the mountain was where we spent most of our time today we did do run one run after lunch down the middle but they were super long runs non-stop powder tree riding the whole day so we decided to save the other half i'm not sure tomorrow if we're going to go over towards the cloud chaser side or if we're going to go back where we were maybe save the cloud chaser because it is going to be pretty epic powder day tomorrow we don't know if we want to go somewhere new or go where we know there is good stuff to be had. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, if you are interested in checking out this condo, coming to Mount Bachelor, I have everything linked down below. Thank you again, John, for hosting us. This condo is as close to Mount Bachelor as you can get. It's